Oh, okay. I like um, Rob Bailey and Hustle Standard, Hungry. It's an angry one. Well, I think the one that sticks out in my mind a little bit is probably Girl Sheila's favourite, <laughs> which is, are your excuses bigger than your dreams? That's a good one. Train <laughs> and eat and drink all of the coffee. Yeah, so I eat and I train, then I eat again, and maybe sleep and train, eat again. <laughs> Seriously? Who the fuck has that? <laughs> Who has that? Really? Okay. Well, Tabata, or Tabitha, is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off of work. It can be of anything for eight rounds. So it's four minutes, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You can do it with absolutely anything. Squats, push-ups, sit-ups, anything. That is Tabitha. And whoever asked that should know because we do enough of them in class. Shame on you. Oh my God, Truth. you're on get over it. Like, seriously, I can't help if your little baldy patch or whatever it is makes it into all of the photos. Like, that is not my fault. Do not seek out. No, absolutely not. I'm looking to take, take the best pictures, um, the best movements. I just can't help if his top of his head is in it. Sorry. Biggest injury. <laughs> um, when I tore my rotator cuff, when I started CrossFit, I tore my rotator cuff, so I had no power in my right shoulder at all. Couldn't do anything. Really. So that was a tough one. That was a tough one. It took uh, probably six months to probably really overcome it. And then start building up the strength from there. So it was hard coming to class and seeing everyone else doing all the things I wanted to do. I couldn't do them. That was a tough one. Laura and Valerie's greatest dream is to do a muscle up. Do you, th <laughs> do you think this is probably only ever going to be a dream? Well, given the two ladies intense training regime and their love for CrossFit, I think anything is possible if you put your mind to it. I think they got some really good tips there recently as well <laughs> on the muscle up. So I look forward to, to being there when that happens. My least favourite fruit. Oh God. <sighs> There's not really anything I don't like, to be honest. Food. Oh, food. My least favourite. Isn't that a thing? Um, the only thing that's coming to mind that's not even a food is milk. Um, no, I just love, I love food. Okay. If it was brains, maybe or like sheep's balls or something like that. Probably anything really disgusting or snails. Okay, yeah, there you go. Okay. Have you had snails? No. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's the texture. Probably least favorite exercise. Now this could be anything at all or in CrossFit. Anything at all. Anything at all. Walking. I hate walking. And then running after that. <laughs> okay, in CrossFit. In CrossFit, it would probably be the overhead squat, and that's purely because my mobility is shocking. So it's just uncomfortable. It feels like my shoulders being ripped off. So yeah, the overhead squat. I'm going to have to say a mix between Phoebe and Joey. <laughs> Why? Because I, with Joey, I'm like, Joey doesn't share food. That's me. And Phoebe, just because she comes out with random, weird things. And that's a bit like me. Okay. Um, the snatch at the minute. I'm really trying to get good at that. What's the most unusual thing that ever happened to me? <laughs> Why well, laughing? A lot of unusual things have happened to me in my life. Um, probably when I was in secondary school, 
and I was doing my art, art class. <laughs> and I had a big whopper of a sneeze <laughs> as I was in the middle of drawing my swan. And I sneezed, achoo, like that. And basically, so it happened so fast, I didn't know what had happened, but I sneezed on the pencil, the pencil went back my throat, pierced a hole just to the back, in the very back of my teeth. But like I said, it happened so fast, I didn't even know what had happened, just I had pain in the back of my throat. So everyone looked into my mask and said there was a big hole of blood coming out of it. And um, yeah, that was pretty weird. But if I had the pencil the other way around with the lead, it would have been a lot more dangerous. I just had to puree the food for like a week. That was fine. Um, hmm, enjoy the ride. <laughs>